So everybody asked me about uh, seating position. So every helicopter manufacturer is the one that deems which side you sit on, which is the PIC side. The Bell 505 and actually quite a few of the Bells, um, including the Huey, can be flown from the right or the left. So you'll see some of the Huey pilots uh, flying the 205 where they've got a bubble window on the left. They'll sit over here on the left side when they're long lining and then when they're long, uh, long cross country or even just flying passengers, they'll sit on the right side because the gauges are set up more for the right. And same in this, it's easier to see the gauges from the right. Um, the MFD and the PFD, you can swap them, but it doesn't give you the same exact information. It just gives you a double of information, so uh, kind of silly, but uh, you'll see that this is pretty far off my right, and it's definitely um, geared more for the right. Helicopter five seat. Kilo Zulu just departed. Off the end of one way, three five westbound. Last call, stellar traffic. Happy Thanksgiving time. Thank you, buddy. See ya. See ya. Why do I sit on the left side? because I have a ton of 500 time. I love flying the MD500. I used to do uh, a lot of precision long line moving drills and things, and you sit with your collective like this, and it's nice to lean out. Uh, I like to walk into an off-airport landing, really looking at my spot as I'm setting down. I can do the same on the right-hand side, uh, but it's just ergonomically, uh, it's not quite as comfortable to do that. So kind of this is the utility side that I prefer. Um, the other thing is that Mike and I are both pilots. We fly together all the time. I have a lot more experience than he does in helicopters. and airplanes, he's the boss. Helicopters, I'm the boss. So I take the instructor role sitting in the left seat. I have control of both of the throttles. Um, so if he does something silly, which he has done before, he turned that throttle off on me once. And uh, so I have more control sitting in the left seat. Um, when I'm flying by myself, if I'm flying over open water and I want to be able to get to my emergency pop-out float system easily, I will sit in the right seat because that's what this is right here. Now, granted, I could do it from here, but it would not be comfortable in an emergency situation. So I'd have to pull this pin and then pull to inflate. So again, I will sit over on the right seat so I have access to that when I'm flying over large bodies of water, but I'm not out here. Now in the Robinson, it's right seat is the PIC. I shouldn't say that. Right seat is uh, for solo flight only when you're flying by yourself because of lateral CG is the uh, mandatory seat. So the manufacturer says right seat solo only. Um, let's see, the H-130 or EC-130 as it used to be when it was Eurocopter, uh, it is designed for left seat drive and that's because it was designed specifically for Blue Hawaiian that did tours in Hawaii and they had had a number of incidences where passengers got into the fuel flow lever and the collective controls which were, are here. If you're sitting in the right seat, got that traffic up there. If you're sitting in the right seat, your controls are more vulnerable. Right here, Ryan, my controls are out of the out of the way uh, for a unwieldy passenger. <laughs> uh, the H125, it can be configured for either. When I flew for Temsco, they had 50/50, so I'd fly five different machines in a day. Half of them would be right seat drive, half would be left seat drive. What other machines? MD500 is actually left seat drive. I think that originally it might have been right seat drive, but it ended up being left. The saying goes that you don't want to take your hand off the cyclic, so your left hand is the one that's free to fiddle with controls. So if you're sitting in the right seat, it's easier to do, to do that. I, I end up just using my right hand like this, and I fly with my left, but then I'm not covering the collective. So really, it's... Uh, some helicopters, like the R-22, you don't want to take your hands off the controls because they're not set, uh, they're, they're going to rise or fall on you unless you always have pressure on them. This helicopter is not that way. It is right now because I'm FCG, so if I let go, I'm going to climb and I'm going to go left. But if I have it trimmed out perfectly uh, weight-wise, there is no trim, uh, but weight-wise, if I have it adjusted perfectly, I can take my hands off the controls and it will fly no problem. So most people's introduction to helicopters is in the Robinson, so they think that PIC in a helicopter is always right seat, but that is entirely not true. And it cracks me up that there are keyboard warriors out there that just think they know everything, and they yell at me that I'm not a real pilot because I'm in the left seat. So there you go. You're a dumbass. Not you guys. You guys are great.